Hey everybody, this is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years. And today we're going to take a look at uh, some different color choices. We're going to take a look at how you can add gray, dark, and creepy coloring to your art color posters. So uh, let's just get, jump right in and get started. So as you're, you're, you're coloring your art posters, you can very easily give a real creepy mood to anything that you're working on. Uh, and one of the secrets is you want to start off with a little bit of a, a more colorful color, like a blue, a green, or a red, and choose one of those colors, or one of whatever color you're working with. Could be a, you know, a nice bright purple, could be an orange. And in one of those colors, you want to make sure that whatever is in the foreground is that color, uh, because you want to, to make it stand out and, and actually have a focus to your piece. And the way that we're going to create the mood here is by putting the foreground against that moodier background. And as you can see here, uh, for this particular piece, uh, you know, it's just something real basic. It's a, it's a quick little abstract, uh, not work piece, uh, fairly common in, in, in art posters. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Grab your grays, and here I have two different shades of gray. And you wanna try and create a nice subtle wash from start to finish. So I'm gonna start uh, on the right hand side here and be careful that you, you stay in the lines. And I'm just gonna go over one time. You can see I'm just doing one quick line. I'm not going back and forth. I'm just doing one line and fill in the whole area if you can. And it's gonna start to give this a, a more creepy, darker gray effect. Again, just make sure you get, you get all in the lines there. So you're gonna start out with the dark, and on the other side, I'm gonna start out with a little bit of a lighter gray. And over time, again, I think it's important here that you just use one stroke. You don't wanna go overboard. And the reason we do that is so that when we get into the middle area, we can start to blend them together. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna flip this over and show you a quick little blending technique. So here we've got one color. And here I am going back and forth, and you can see that there's a little bit of texture underneath my paper. Um, and then what you're going to do is from the opposite side, so if we were to flip this paper back over, remember I started on two sides, from the opposite side you're going to start with the other color. Now you can see this is the darker one, and you're going to just fade it slightly in, real slow, into your original color. So here we can back this up a little, a little bit. We come over this a second time to darken it in, because as you can see, there's still a bunch of white streaks in there. And we don't want white streaks. We want to give it a nice solid color. And just pull it straight in. Now what this is going to do is it's going to lift up a little bit of color from that other marker, and it's going to start to blend the two colors together. And it's all right if there's a little bit of line work in there. Just make sure that all your lines are going the same way. Remember, concentrate on proper technique. And you can see how, how much darker this is getting now. And just start to pick the marker up towards the end again because the darker color, a little bit of dark color goes a long way. And it's real easy to have it overpower the lighter color. And then I would just come back in with the lighter color. And again, this is gonna be really wet here. You're gonna to start to get a blending of the colors. And you just uh, go over e each color with the other color several times until you have a nice gradation across the entire piece. All right, so that was a little bit of the uh, creepier side, a little bit of the darker side uh, of coloring that you can add to your art color posters. Um, hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time.